Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Sastri Krasnici, I'm CCNA and CCMP Certified Instructor. We, will, we are continuing with CCNA Semester 3, Scaling Network. This is Chapter 5, Adjusting and Troubleshooting Single Area OSPF. Now we're going to move to Section 5.2, Troubleshooting a Single Area OSPF Implementation. OSPF adjacency will not form if the subnet does not match, causing routers to be on the separate network. But that's true. If, you, if I can't ping the, dev, the end device, there's not going to be an OSPF or any other routing protocol. So first, you, will, you should be able to talk to each other, like IP layer, uh, layer 3. OSPF network type does not match. If one side says, for example, point to point, and the other side says a broadcast, and then you obviously the network will not form, or adjacencies. The OSPF hello and dead timers, they do not match. So if one side has a dead timer and hello timers different to the other side, is not going to form adjacency. Now, uh, for example, default is 10 seconds. We send the hello messages every 10 seconds, and then dead timer is four times that. On a slow link, that hello is every 30 seconds, and the dead time is every 40 seconds. Uh, sorry, four times that, so it's 120. Interface to neighbor is incorrectly configured as passive, so if we configure one of the interfaces to be in a passive mode, we say interface. Uh, so passive hyphen interface default and we forgot to do no passive interface default no passive interface serial 000 for example we're not going to have our neighbors there is a missing or incorrect ospf network command for example if you didn't type network and the network that these two are sharing then they're not going to form adjacency authentication is misconfigured so if for example we are configured with the wrong password one side lower letters and the other side uppercase characters then obviously uh, still we're not going to have adjacency. To troubleshoot OSPF, it is important to understand how OSPF routers traverse different OSPF state when adjacencies are being established. So we have these are the states of OSPF. So we have a down state. So these are the uh, review semester two. Down state when we are just sending hellos or we are not receiving any hellos. Then when we start receiving hellos, well, in, in the hellos that we're receiving, we don't see our, our router ID on it, but we are receiving hellos, then we go to initializing state or init state. Then when we are receiving the hellos and we are seeing our router ID inside those hellos, it means that they are seeing us, then we move to two-way state. These are just establishing neighbor adjacencies. Then once we establish the neighbor adjacencies, and if we can continue, for example, if we continue with DR, or we continue with the BDR, or we continue with point to point, but if you both DR other, or the both routers are DR other, then there's no continuation, they just stop here. But say we are gonna create adjacency with a DR, then we will continue. We start X start, so X start is the who's gonna start this uh, messages. Who's going to start the exchange? X start is a router with the highest router ID. The start. Then we will exchange our database. Then we, if there is something missing, we will require the neighbor to send us more information. So that's link state request. The neighbor will send us uh, the database or that we didn't have link state update, and then we are full synchronized, fully synchronized. Just then we can start running it in our uh, algorithm shortest path first. When troubleshooting OSPF neighbors, be aware that the full or two-way states are normal. All other states are transitory, transitory. That is, the router should not remain in those states for extended period of times. OSPF troubleshooting commands first to verify vital OSPF configuration. We use show IP protocols. What protocols we have enabled to verify that the router has formed an adjacency with a neighbor router, show IP OSPF neighbor, display the OSPF parameters configured on an interface, such as OSPF process ID, router ID, show IP OSPF interface. Examine the OSPF process ID and the router ID, show IP OSPF. Display only the OSPF learned routes in the routing table, show IP root OSPF. And resets the OSPF neighboring adjacencies, clear IP OSPF, process ID, 10 for example, and process. Components of troubleshooting OSPF. Connectivity should do it to routing. Yes. Is the routing ta in neighboring table? No. We need to troubleshoot. Show IP OSPF neighbor. Find out why. Maybe the timers and so on. 
If it is, if the neighbor is, is the correct routing table that we have at the routes we're expecting? No. Well, find out what they're advertising. Are they advertising or maybe the passive interface or anything like that? And then does the traffic uh, take the desired path? If it is, great, functional network. If it's not, we still have to troubleshoot, which means probably the cost we have to look at and so on. For version 3, well, the show commands are very similar as to version uh, 2, or SPF version 2. Just at this time, we type show IPv6, and then protocols, neighbors, OSPF neighbors, OSPF interface, and so on. Summary, OSPF defines five network types, point-to-point, -point, broadcast multi-access, non-broadcast multi-access, point-to-multipoint, and virtual links. The DR and BDR are elected to overcome challenges of flooding in OSPF network. The routers in the network elect the router with the highest interface priority as a DR. The router with the second highest interface priority will become the BDR. If all priorities are equal, one, the router with the highest ID, router ID, is elected as DR, and the second highest is the BDR. To propagate the default router in OSPF, the autonomous system boundary router must be configured with a default static and then OSPF command default information originate. To verify, show IP root or show IPv6 routes. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Please have a look at my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much, it's been a massive video. See you later, bye bye, thank you.